We now return to Brian Cranston sneezes. Achoo! Thank you. Well, you have your work cut out for you, Peter. My father's always hated Christmas. Hey, happy June 16th. Well, let's see how you like it when someone breaks into your house and touches all your stuff. Hey, knock it off! I'm touching this, and this over here, you're a creep is my point. We now return to the director's cut of Mission Impossible 5 with the step stools not edited out. You're coming with me because I'm definitely over six feet and you're not handsome. The Hallmark Channel is proud to present Hallmark Greeting Cards Explained. So there's a penguin on the front and it says, I hear you're 40, and when you're 40, your eyes start to go, and then you open the card, and then happy birthday is all blurry because whoever opens the card is 40, and you want to give them the impression that their eyes are starting to go. We now return to the Kentucky Derby, where 90% of the audience roots for the horse with the cutest name. And they're off. It's Battleaxe, followed by Redbeard, followed by Bishop, followed by Smiling Pink Bear. Oh my god, that's my horse. And on the outside, here comes Tiny Kitten Kisses. No, no, that one. And here comes It's Bedtime. Oh, I do not like him. We now return to Quantum Creep. Al, what year is it? 1972. Cool. I'm gonna go show my penis to some kids. Hey, Chris, hey, you remember that kid you said was bullying you at school? Well, here's his head. Ah! That's not even him! That's the deaf kid! Oh, that was sign language. I thought he was trying to defend himself with terrible karate. You can't fire a writer in the middle of a show. That'll be like a doctor leaving in the middle of a surgery. Help! I'm supposed to have surgery, but my doctor disappeared. Okay, Josh, this is the shot you've been waiting for. Okay, Derek, this is the shot you've been waiting for. A thousand dollars? Right, but it's gonna be hard to get that kind of money. I mean, I'm not Judge Judy. Hi, I'm Judge Judy. I get paid $45 million a year to yell at people who have nothing. Now, here's an ad about a fat people disease you have. I guess, but it's not gonna be easy. My life's not always easy, Mick. Just ask an ugly boy scout. Scoutmaster Davenport, you want to share a tent with me tonight? Oh, Billy, I like you as a friend. Hey, are you guys talking about Quagmire? He never showed this morning, and today's the day we usually go apple picking. Get that one. Get that one. Hey, get that one. Get that one over there. No, not, not that one. I already got it. I can't put it back. Well, it's not going in the pie. Well, if you're so smart, why don't you come up here and pick them yourself? And now there's no pie at all. And now, the HBO original series, Boys. Hey, sorry I slept with that girl you liked. That's cool. Did you walk around naked after you had sex? What? No. No one wants to see that. Isn't this time in our lives so interesting? No. Man, how the hell am I going to quit smoking? I wish smoking could just quit me instead. Thank you for meeting me here. I have something very important to tell you. I have something important to tell you, too. Peter, I think we should see other people. Okay. Uh, good. That's what I was going to say, too. Peter Griffin, you are an idiot. You can't even walk and chew gum at the same time. Peter, come on. Walk over here. I'm doing something, one thing at a time. Yeah, good call, Quagmire. You're gonna be like the first guy in the neighborhood to own a Model T. See ya, suckers. I'll be there an hour after you with throw up all over my legs. I guess no one cares about our music. I thought we were pretty good. Yeah, I've seen worse performances. I was walking home around 8.15 p.m. to my car. It was very dark. And then I, I heard the footsteps. Boo! Get to the sex! For years now, I've been planning on retiring at 45 so I can work on finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease. Peter, are those testicles? Where did you get those? I don't remember! Peter, what are we gonna do? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna sneak in. Well, we better get there soon. I wanna be there for opening night of Karate Kid 5. Mr. Miyagi, this is kind of embarrassing, but I'm having a problem with erectile dysfunction. Hey, Daniel-san, Miyagi fix. 
tired of living with morons. Remember when I tried to open that lemonade stand with Chris? All right, that'll be 10 cents. Chris, pour the man his lemonade. I can't. The lemonade tricked me and got away. Lemons are God's children. Oh, look, Chris, here's your costume from the year you went as a condom. What the hell are you supposed to be? I even cleaned this room for him the other day. Wish I hadn't done that. Chris, our bath is ready. I, uh, I don't, I don't know what to do now. I, I don't have the parenting skills necessary to deal with this. I say we never speak of this again. I, I might move. We now return to Muppet Babies. Uh, Piggy, I don't think Kermie Jr. is doing so well. Kill me! I'm in constant pain! That's the spirit, guys. We'll find him. Can't be any harder than finding that cheese. I think the cheese is that way. I'm pretty sure it's over here. Guys, guys, finding the cheese is what they want us to do. Let's just chill. I don't know where they're getting all this weed. I can't believe it. You've become a wild animal. You're like that tiger from Siegfried and Roy. Um, I think we all know the answer to this, but should I get tested? Hey, did you guys hear about that new kid? The emo Muslim? <sighs> Death to America. Peter, the idea of God, let alone that he'd care anything about football, is absurd. Well, it's absurd to think that my hand scratching on a couch is some kind of animal, but you do. Is that? We now return to Jeremy Piven as the Incredible Hulk. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. I don't like you now. I am gonna help you beat impotence. We can do this together. Thanks, Quagmire, because this sucks. I think even the people at the office supply store can tell. Um, excuse me, where do you keep your three ring binders? Those are on aisle. Hold on a sec. We're all out of binders. Good lord, nobody wants to be near me. This is lonelier than a Kennedy family reunion. Where is everybody? Oh yeah, they're dead. We now return to B-E-T-E-T. -E -T. Don't you need to phone home? Nah, I'll do it later. Well, then you should go talk to her and try to clear this up. It sounds weird, but maybe it was innocent. I mean, this wouldn't be the first time you thought someone was hitting on you. Would you like to add chips and a drink? Here we go again. Wow, I haven't felt this powerful since I got to decide which ant lives and which ant dies. You shall battle to the death, and the winner will be given his freedom. Why are you looking at me like that? Peter, would you like a glass of... Oh, my God! I told you not to play God with those ants! Stella, I need you to go to Chicago on Thursday. I can't. This week is the Death Games. Oh my god, this has been a 12 minute round. Why does every fight have to go to the death? We now return to Italian Star Trek. I know I'm supposed to be a so logical, but I get a so esteem in the mad! You know, I actually can't believe they let me into heaven. They won't even let me umpire Little League games anymore. Strike two! And Ricky, you have got the best ass on this field. Oh man, now everyone's gonna remember me for this. I wanted to be remembered for my achievement in film. Quagmire, we are on fire here. We are going to be the best thing since sliced bread. I'd like a sandwich, but I don't feel like eating two whole loaves of bread. Tough. We now return to The Gay Bachelor. Oh, they're all gross. I'm keeping the roses. What the hell? Where's all the decorations? And a big Christmas tree. Oh, look, there's Santa. Peter, no. That's a hell's angel. What do you want? Meth? Okay. We now return to the Karate Kid with realistic human feelings. You're all right, LaRusso. You just tried to cripple me. We've been on countless adventures together. 
And besides, you owe me, Brian. Remember what you did to my last Halloween costume? I am going to be the cutest fire hydrant in the whole... Ah! What are you doing? We now return to The Year Without a Santa Claus or Sex. Daddy, where's Santa Claus? I don't know, okay? Should I ask Mom? <laughs> I don't know. She's so busy with her job. Peter, you are taking Stewie to the park. It'll do you good to spend some time with your son. I spent lots of time with him, Lois. Just last week, I took him to the doctor. Mr. Griffin, you're here to get your prostate examined? Yeah, this is me. Ugh, I'm the worst father ever. I'm even worse than Marvin Gaye's dad. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Marvin, if there's another tie, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs>